Are you ready to spot the difference? Spot the difference in your friends. Let's get started, shall we? What's up, kings and queens? It's your girl Zoe Sunshine with a brand new episode. This week, I had an experience and I just felt like, let me just use this experience to motivate this topic. Today, we're going to talk about toxic friendships, guys. And like, don't get it twisted. Don't get it wrong. Like, I was a toxic friend at one point, And I'm sure that some of you out there were toxic as well. I commend you if you're no longer that toxic friend. And if you are let's start to get right let's start to do better let's do this before we continue obviously we need to like share a little love to our last video of the week so here we go let's get it going if you never try you'll never that song has literally become one of my favorites. So shout out to my friend, Michelle. I love you for introducing me to that song because it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Okay, so we kind of had to change location and how everything is basically set up. So we're trying something new. We're doing like a vlog type of video, but not really. So we're gonna do this for a little bit. We always have that friend who is dismissive of our interest and what like what accomplishments we've achieved and like they like exaggerate everything that they do like for example because you know I love using examples <laughs> but you would <sighs> let's see <clears throat> okay okay got one so say you just got a new game, right? And it's just a game for your council. This person is gonna be like, yeah, bro, like, I just get the latest da-da-da council, four games, da-da, and it's like, okay, so, like, this is a competition now? Is that what this is about? Because I was just, like, letting you guys know that, hey, like, I, I just got a game that I love, and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, but something that's not how it always goes. I know that there are some people who know this one for sure. You have that friend who always asks you for favors, but never returns the favor. Bruh. Another thing that we have to be mindful of is that friend that you get a message from them and instantly you are thinking to yourself oh god what does this person want now you know like like it's it always starts with a negative thought which is not good another thing to spot are those friends that can't help but gossip every time you're hanging out they always talk about this person or that person now if you realize that that's the case if they're gossiping about this person then they could be gossiping about you too let me ask y'all something. Do you know that friend, right? That when they don't get the attention of another friend, a specific friend, they always message you? It's like, oh, um, where have you been for the past like five months? <laughs> for this last point, I'm gonna say that you want a friend who values you, who does it put their life in front of yours all the time where it's equal where you can go to them about something and they could come to you about something where they you know they acknowledge all the good that you have done and they don't throw the bad in your face you want a friend who is willing to make sacrifices for you you see the dogs are agreeing with me <laughs> who is willing to make sacrifices for you you want somebody who is not who is going to understand that we all have good and bad in us you don't want somebody who has 
stunted your growth. You don't want somebody who, like, every time you're trying to do something better, they're like, really? Like, they hit you with the sarcasm. That's not what you want. You want to feel like they are empowering you and you are empowering them to do the best every day of this life that you have. I recently read something, a quote, I should say, by Alice Walker, who says, no person is your friend who demands your silence or denies your right to grow. So we have to consider these things definitely when it comes to the people that we hold close to us. Another thing that I just read or another thing that I just found out about was think about this the five people that you spend the most time with those are the people that play a big part in how you will be how you will grow we don't want to surround ourselves with people friends who would be jealous of all the good that we are doing in our life and the thing about it is jealousy is an ugly thing and coming from me personally there were moments where I was that toxic friend where I got jealous and jealousy is quick to turn into resentment. Jealousy, resentment, and then anger. We don't want to feed those habits. We don't want to make our friends, the ones that we care about, feel bad about what they're trying to do with their life. We don't want them to feel like they have to always make so many sacrifices for us and we don't make sacrifices for them moving forward we want friends who appreciate us who love us and we can do the same for them in this year 2020 that's been such a you know according to Medea, <laughs> the word that starts with the letter after a and ends with an itch 2020 has not been kind but the one thing that 2020 has taught us is that we need to value ourselves more. Self-love is first. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell you gonna love somebody else? According to RuPaul, look at the people that you surround yourself with and look at the things that you want to accomplish and think about if those people are going to love you even more for the accomplishments or if they're going to stop you from wanting to grow and make you feel uncomfortable for being this person that's not what you want that's not what you need we need to surround ourselves with positive people people that encourage us to be better every single day thank you so much guys for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe and most importantly share with a friend